Y'all remember the other day when I said uh, I was debating on buying a dump truck or a dump bed trailer? Oh man, just the right size that I need. <laughs> that's uh, that's not good. Well, what's up guys? It's Daniel from Arms Family Homestead. And uh, if you're seeing this, that means you were not highly offended and left us after the last video. And I appreciate that. Um, we had a few people that uh, took a stand and said, I'm leaving, I'm not watching you anymore because I feel like I get to have a say-so in what you talk about. <laughs> so, uh, if you're one of those folks and you're still around, we appreciate you for sticking around even though you said you were gonna unsubscribe. So. Today, I'm trying to get an early start on the day. Oh my goodness, the last several days I've been doing some cleanup, getting ready, deer season prep. I know it seems like that's the pond and deer season prep, but I'm telling you, that's just what I love to do. So the last several days I've been doing some mowing with this Rhino mower here on the 5835. And um, it doesn't have a cab. And it's been 95 degrees and dusty and dry. My allergies just blah, about to explode. Kelsey, what are you doing? Huh? You just found any random stick that you want? Anyways, I need to get over to Mill Creek and do some work. Because we've got some really pretty deer running around over there. And the grass is about this tall. And that makes it really hard to see the deer. You know, I enjoy hunting with my family. So I'm going to get this rhino mower cleaned up and prepped to go down the road. I don't want to tow it the way it is. It's covered in grass and sticks and debris. So I'm going to clean it off. You two are noisy. You know that? Anyways, I'm going to get this cleaned up, prepped and ready to go. Hook, unhook it from the tractor, hook it up to the truck and take it over to Mill Creek where I have a tractor with a cab and an air conditioner. Oh, and there's Bear. Everyone always says, where's Bear? We don't ever see Bear. Is Bear okay? Bear is all good. He's chilling with the goats this morning, aren't you, buddy? He's been uh, hanging out on our front porch, sleeping at the front door. Hadn't he, Charlie? Why do you think Bear decided to start sleeping at the front door? Hmm? All right. Let's get to work. You all enjoy your morning.
Kels, can you come hold this up for me just a little bit? Huh? Well, that was almost too easy. <laughs> so, uh, several months ago, I had airbags installed in the back of, on the suspension of the rear of this uh, three-quarter ton Chevrolet pickup because when I would tow my skid steer, it looked a little squatted in the back. I had airbags installed. And when I backed up to this mower, it was almost the exact height, same height. <laughs> and the jack was all the way up on the mower. So I just let out about 10 pounds of air out of my airbags and dropped the truck down backed right in now i don't know if you guys can tell or not but it's eight o'clock this morning my watch shows 75 degrees i don't know if i believe it because it's already hot out here i think it's mostly the humidity so i'm gonna go in the house grab some water pack a few things wash my hands and go get to work Okay, I think, I think I'm ready to start some mowing. So one problem I've been having with this 574 for, well, not the entire time I've owned it, but at least the last year, is it likes to overheat. So it has a brand new air filter on it. I've cleaned out the radiator, the oil coolers. There's actually three different oil coolers on the front of this radiator. Cleaned out the screen. I'm gonna make sure I get all of those screens on the front really good and clean. This little thing's pretty handy. It hooks onto a water hose. It's like a little mini pressure sprayer. I think I bought it at like Harbor Freight, maybe. I don't know. I'll see if I can find one on Amazon. I'll leave a link in the description box down below, but it turns your regular water hose into somewhat of a pressure washer. Just perfect for getting in tight corners and cracks and crannies and crevices to clean all the dust that I can out of that radiator. So hopefully this thing won't want to overheat on me today. the tractor up it's 170 degrees and the goal is to keep it 190 195 we'll see that's where it needs to run I feel like so we'll see what happens
I've been mowing for right at one hour. I did a big power line right away, a few roads and trails through the woods, and this one big open field that was out basically in the full sun. And this is maybe two acres, maybe a little less than two acres. And as you can see, the temperature is slowly increasing on the tractor. It's getting up 204, 205, and uh, that's about when the air conditioner starts not blowing as cold. So the engine's really getting kind of hot. It's not overheating, and it hasn't overheated yet, but I think in one hour, you guys saw I stopped and cleaned out the screen a little while ago. That helped for a few minutes, but I think I'm, I'm only a few hundred yards from the trailer house up there. So I'm gonna run back up there, clean out the radiator, wash everything down really good again and see if i can go back to mowing and it not get too hot because what i've seen in the past once it gets up to 205 it just keeps climbing 210 215 and that's when you start to run into problems uh, it's too hot so i don't know i was hoping cleaning that out really really good today would uh help solve that overheating issue it's i mean it's warm outside today but it's not even 90 degrees. We're at about 87. So it'd be one thing if I was out here trying to pull this big 10 foot mower when it was 105 degrees outside. But uh, I, don't, I don't really know, man. Let's give it another shot and see what it'll do. I cleaned out every nook and cranny possible with that little long reach pressure washer blaster thing and cleaned every little seed and every little piece of dust out of everything in the front of that tractor that I could. And it should be cooled off with all the cool water I put through the radiator there, but uh, let's see what happens. Something didn't seem right with my mower. It was all looking wonky. And I looked back and looked down and I thought, oh man, a pin came out or something. No, it's even worse than that. The bracket, the mount where my draw bar goes in. Wow. Uh, I have no idea how that happened. Or why? That's a oh, that's a pretty good problem there. So I'm gonna see if I can at least limp this back up to the cabin and unhook it. But that's not good. Well, this is a uh, pretty neat little problem. 
Yeah. That's not supposed to be like that, in case you were wondering. Man. <laughs> that's, uh, that's not good. It does look like that whole assembly right there is replaceable. There's a few bolts that hold that on, and it should be replaceable, so it's not like a unrepairable problem, but I, that's just strange. It, I mean, now the problem I'm going to have is that I can't get the jack on there because it's so low right now and it's in such a bind. I'm not real sure how I'm going to be able to uh, lift it up with what I have here, which is my hands, a jack, a camera. Not much, and I'm a very long ways from my pickup truck. And I still don't have what I need there, so basically I think I'm gonna need something to lift this up to even get the jack under it to unhook the trailer, or mower. It's not really a trailer, but you know what I mean. not bent. Well, that's the pits. <laughs> I guess the welds just broke on where that drawbar slides into that receiver. And uh, when the weld broke, then the steel, every time I would be on a weird angle or something you know going up and down a hill or into a ditch or whatever it just bent it a little more a little more a little more until it was pointed down and dragging the ground darn well not much i can do about it right now uh call tym and see if that see if i can just order that part this tractor this 574 was my original sponsorship deal with TYM, but that was just for two years. So this tractor's mine. I own it outright. It's not a temporary thing. So hopefully that part's not too expensive. So I don't know. I guess I'll take this thing back to the trailer house, back up to the house. And I've got a few other chores I need to do around here. And uh, it's about one o'clock, so got other things i've got to do this evening i was planning on staying here working till mowing till about two and uh, looks like it got cut short today y'all remember the other day when i said uh i was debating on buying a dump truck or a dump bed trailer well <laughs> man it's, it's amazing what happens when you start talking about something you're thinking about buying check it out it just listen i just happened to drive by look at this thing oh man just the right size that i need uh but maybe about 30 years too old <laughs> this would be perfect though i mean for beating and banging around the woods i mean look at it now problem is is uh I've told you guys before, I'm not much of a mechanic.
so uh, I don't know what could go wrong with a 30 something year old dump truck right oh man isn't she isn't she amazing I have no idea what year model it is but it is for sale I don't think it's been washed in 20 years GMC diesel 7,000 all for $5,500 just wash her up it should be good to go right I wonder if the bed's all beat up oh yeah bed beat all the snot I mean it's not pretty but it would probably do everything I needed to do and be broke down every day but that is about the size of dump truck I would like to have if I was going to buy a dump truck. Just something probably in a little bit better shape than that. So while I was obviously somewhat joking about the dump truck thing, I am I am not interested in buying something that old and beat up and banged up. And if I was a good, you know, shade tree mechanic, it might be worth it. But I have a feeling if I spend my money on something like that, it's going to be in the shop all the time. And I'll be letting somebody else work on it. But while I was in town, I had to pick up a new battery for my big pig trap. This trap has, uh, has had zero activity for the last few weeks, a couple weeks. Up until the last three nights, I've had pigs here two out of the last three nights, and it's because I've got this deer feeder on. And yesterday evening, they were here for probably an hour and a half. So I did get a new battery put in the uh, in the hog eye camera system. The one that was in there was I don't know over two years old, I think. And they're just they're deep cycle marine batteries is what they recommend to run in these things, and they they typically say they're good for a year, year and a half because that camera stays awake all the time so it's constantly pulling power off of that deep cycle battery so got it baited up and hopefully the pigs decide to show up this evening it's hot I, it was uh, it's like 96 97 degrees now for, uh, i don't know almost three o'clock in the afternoon it's just uh so nice in the mornings so nice in the mornings and then by two three four o'clock it is hot but a lot going on got a lot done <sighs> did tear up the tractor that was unfortunate but we'll get it fixed and we'll get it back up and going as you can see i've actually been over here doing a little mowing all in this little oak bottom in here this is where this is the area where houston shot limpy gimpy a couple years ago and we've harvested a lot of deer out of this field so <sighs> i gotta get a haircut i'm gonna go home shower get cleaned up because i have not had a haircut in over a month haircut beard trim we're going to go watch some football, high school football tonight. It's Friday night. Yeah. So maybe I'll see you guys in the morning if these pigs showed up.
Well, it's the next morning, and our special guest did not show up last night. I'm telling you, sometimes, sometimes you just can't win for losing, right? I, uh, I've been watching those pigs, what did I say, two out of the last three nights they showed up. Last night, planned on them being there, nothing. Not one single pig came in to the trap. However, <laughs> it's a totally different story at Mill Creek. Haven't seen a pig over there in weeks now. Last night, I don't know, four or five pigs show up, hit two different feeders. <sighs> pigs. Big problems. It's like, you it's just a never-ending battle, and it's going to be that way forever. But you think you kind of get ahead of them, and bam, here they come back. And I'm telling you, the thing with the wild hogs, pigs, whatever you want to call them, feral hogs, is they will absolutely run the deer out of an area. Deer and pigs do not mix. I mean, they'll still, the deer will still be around in the area, but they're going to avoid where those pigs are at 100%. And uh, Kelsey's messing with the cat. Kelsey's messing with everybody this morning. She is a uh, wound up whole ball of energy. So I guess I, the pig trap that I took down to the river on my buddy's place a couple weeks ago has not produced any pigs. They had some pigs in there. And since we moved that trap in there, I had pigs come in one or two nights, and he has not been seeing them at all. So he found out a couple days ago someone on the other side of the river is trapping. Hey, Kelsey, you two calm down. He found out someone on the other side of the river is trapping pigs, so that's probably where the, the pigs disappeared to. They're gone. So I probably over the next, I don't know, sometime this coming week, I'll go down and get that trap and take it over to Mill Creek. So I have one here and one at Mill Creek. And we don't have to keep going back and forth. Uh, we'll catch some pigs eventually. But in other news, I did get a haircut, finally. Uh, I usually don't go that long without getting a haircut, but I had to grow grow my hair and my beard and all that for the part I was playing in the Heaven's Gates, Hell's Flames thing. But, man, she did an excellent job. I actually went to a, a real barber and got a straight edge razor on the neck, all the, you know, that's the first time I've ever done that. Like I usually just go find somebody just cut my hair, but she did a great job. So anyways, I don't know, guys, remember, do something today to make somebody smile because you never know. It just might change the world. So guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. You guys have a great day. And as always, we'll see you on the next video.